I know this section is all about the PS4, but all I can hear is this PS3. So this is actually quite exciting. This is the first time you can turn the console on with the controller. So this is very much a refined version of the PS3's home screen. Much more blocky in style. Oh my God, listen to it. It's louder than the PS3. <laughs> There was me thinking this was going to be a nice, sleek, quiet machine. <laughs> I only half blame Sony. This room that we're in is basically a sauna right now. Let's boot up the game. You can also tell the text is way sharper and more readable now. You can actually now pick the exact time of day of your race and it will affect the weather conditions accordingly. You can feel such a visceral difference. The density of the crowd, the, the light coming directly from the sun. Right, so I've actually filled up a bag with ice just to cool it down because this is getting ridiculous. I'm gonna lay it on top of the ice pack. In my mind, this is what a modern racing game looks like. The game almost has like an atmosphere that the other ones lack. Excuse my driving. I can actually also notice a bit of realistic damage on my car. So upgraded physics too. What do you do with this much power then? Well, I mean, just for starters, a further doubling of the resolution to now 1080p or full HD. The PS4 could happily fill a 40 inch TV and not look like it was being stretched. And it also just gave developers the headroom to be creative, to build not just detailed backgrounds, but fully open worlds, to execute their visions in their entirety. Plus they could now add pretty much any visual effect they could think of. 